Hello there, this is Malek, and welcome to episode 60 of my Space Haven playthrough. We have wandered into this little sector. We've got these two ships to salvage, managed to shoot a load of things. Life's good, you know? Life's good, man. Now, what is the mission on here? Retrieve item of interest. So they want some fertilizer. <laughs> okay, so you want me to recover some fertilizer. And in return, you're going to give me some really valuable things. I accept. So CS Hyperion. Hyperion. Whatever. Um, which one's that? The first avalanche. Oh, uh, that's not the mission. Mission. Retrieve from... Here we go. Kill all monsters and transfer. So MFS Avalanche. And there's Avalanche. Okay. So you guys all override sleep. Because sleepiness apparently kills. And it, and it literally does. Now draft. And get aboard that ship. Still need body armor. Oh well. Okay. We will then launch to here. And we will see what happens. hell I don't know what they just shot at but I'm guessing it was bad oh they're, they're, they're shooting that thing over there well don't destroy the console all right strudel you um you are mr. shotty so um you know what to hell with it let's everyone go through there okay Pat just stop there and do that I just want you to open all the bloody doors Right, shoot that little fish in a barrel. Okay, that's hopefully going to be less problematic. Okay, Strudel. I need to head out and have a little look. Jesus, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. It always amuses me how relatively smart they are. <clears throat> like, they will be like, hang on a second, we can't get to you, we're gonna hide. <laughs> um, and it's, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, go, hide, that's a good idea. But that one is just moving around like, Ugh! Okay, go! Just, just move! Sheesh. Okay. Sheesh. See, where's that one? See, it's moving around and it can see me. It knows I'm there. I'm gonna go this way. Boom! Nice open wound for you, you bugger. Good, good shooting over there, guys. It's good support, you know. Oh. There we go. Okay, so everybody accumulate here. Nope. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, we got some hits in. They got a hit in. That's fine, that's fine. So, I'm gonna, um... Clear out this side room first, where possible. I'm glad there's no friendly fire in this, because, oh boy, that would be unfortunate. Oh. Okay, well... That's good. No little nests. Madness. Is there anything... No, there's actually no... Huh. What I mean, it's like there's no, um... Like, log books and stuff like that. Undraft. We will now do salvage related things. I mean, a crawler corpse we don't really need. Um, I think it makes gross meat if we decide to butcher it. Well, what the hell. Um, salvage. Well, infra scrap, tech scrap, um, coal scrap. I mean, to be honest, it's it's all good, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Welcome home, people. And um, also, forget the override. <laughs> you, you, you go about whatever it is you would normally do at this time. Okay, what is our research doing anyway? Flybot is nearly done, and then it's Alien Hive Core? What's the Alien Hive Core get me? Oh my god, there's hardly any research to do with the Alien Hive Core. And that then will ultimately go to Advanced Nutrition. So our ability to grow plants will massively increase. Once, you know, all the other things are done, the evolving core will, will be done. Okay, okay. We, we, we'll get there. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily high priorities. Um, I think fibers is... I think the evolving core is probably lower priority. <clears throat> Fabrics. Okay. Well, I mean, the metal refinery would be good. So, advanced nutrition, and then artificial meat. Oh, the scanner's all the way down there. It's. It is what it is. I like a weapon console is just nowhere. I kind of feel like we're getting away with not having to fight. Obviously that may in fact change. Um but I feel like that the you know, I'm I'm willing to leave things. Look at that, we're stripping this. Um Bring back the ship. <laughs> yes. Where's the bloody ship? Let's abandon everyone on, on the derelict. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's probably... As much salvage as we're likely to get. So yeah, I'm not going to bother with any more of the um, crappy salvage. The people on board salvage. See, this is why we kind of need um, more, more docking bays. In fairness, you could just have another um, uh, shuttle hangar. And, and you wouldn't need another airlock. But you might as well have multiple of both. So, energy is good, hyperspace fuel is good, um, food is looking pretty rosy right now, we're, we're growing, we're growing a lot of food. Oh yeah, I was going to check the nutrition settings in the kitchen. Yeah, so we're eating a lot of fruits, 
Um, some nuts and seeds. Oh, hello. Let's have a little look. Little hamster bot. Um, capable of hover movement, carrying. They don't really have much in the way of, of attack damage. One to six. Nowhere near the big slashy holly boy. Um, these are the ones that explode, don't they? So an Android Andreas 9 slash DW created... Oh, the Android created this robot to streamline logistical needs. A small logistics drone capable of transporting resources to stockpile, loading shuttles and transports, and dismantling structures for salvage. We'll sometimes miscategorize organic life as resources in need of collection. And with its manipulation field generators are quite effective at restraining a human, android or alien. Wow, well that's... thanks. Thanks, random... random research. And again, we have our ridiculous amount of stuff that needs storing. It's all good, though. All good. So, we have that sorted out now. Um, we need to salvage this. Kind of feel like um, these guys could do with, you know, another mission but we've we've completed that mission for them we we got them their fertilizer <laughs> you know of all of the things we looted and and salvaged off this thing and and what they gave us for it i feel like yeah you can have your bloody fertilizer jeez um let me remind myself what we've got oh you've got the item fabricator and the item workbench i've forgotten about that yeah because yeah and you've got the chemical refinery which basically means we're making chemicals, we're making just stuff in general. Plastics, medical supplies. We are making a lot of cool stuff, actually. A lot of cool stuff. We are at that point where we may not be self-sufficient as such, but we do produce on board a lot of the things that we need. Um, and why the hell not, I guess? Why the hell not? I'm just hoping at some point we find some some people because we've got a lot of beds or eight beds so that's even if people don't share beds we've still got you know space for two more people we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes it'll either happen or it won't but so far i've not seen we've not done that many new derelicts so i don't think it's a fair assessment yeah, I'm still curious as to how, how how they got on before with the um with the little thingy that attached to them, but I don't think it did anything. On, on their own, they're not that bad. Oh my god, we've we've also got a data sheet of this. Uh, the core structure of an alien environment enables new alien eggs to form in the surrounding environment. So that hive core is definitely worth killing. Destroying this structure will prevent new eggs from forming. Good. This is this is good. We're getting through a few things. Now we've got fibers, which is not a particularly big research. 100 research in total, most of it the simplest. Okay. That is good. That is good. And then once we've got fibers... God, we can grow fibers. So, so really, I need to start thinking about growing more things in here. Um... I guess more, more grow beds. Because why the hell not, I suppose? We've got a little grow bed there. I think grow bed... This grow bed, I think. The big, big, big boy. Big boy grow bed. I just don't feel like they're as efficient. I don't know. So these are five beds each. Yeah, so that's growing nuts, that's growing fruit, nuts, fruit, oh. veggies, fruit, veggies. Okay. I don't really need specifically more things, but the question is, is if that is producing 10, and in there there's producing 8, but that's still a smaller room, isn't it? Like, that is about... It's not even as efficient as you can make it. There's gaps there for extra things that could be built. You see what I'm saying? So, this room will get you 10 things. 
This room gets you eight things, but is smaller. I'm getting a calculator out. Now, you won't be able to see the calculator because, well, I mean, obviously it's a different application and blah, 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 blah. And I'm not fiddling with the settings so that you can. So, this is a one, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a five by seven room. So it's 35. Um, and you get 10 grow beds. So that's, it takes each grow bed requires three and a half tiles, roughly. Three and a half. So the lower that number, the better. And this area is three by seven. Three times seven but you divide it by eight. And that only requires 2.6, more or less rounded down, um, tiles per crop. So it's way more efficient space-wise to use these beds than those beds. Now it may be that the big beds require less maintenance, you know? That, that each each one requires only a certain number of jobs like so this one only requires one bit of botany but it looks like the botany does get assigned to each plant because at the moment that um, little one is, is fiddling with the, the plant in that corner there's another job for botany on that location um You see there, they're now they're fiddling with that one. So I think that the amount of botany jobs is probably equal per plant. So next is, is it more efficient with water and fertilizer? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought so. But yeah, the, the, the entire thing of, I mean, bear in mind, this is... Not exactly an unfair comparison, but the comparison uh, is worth pointing out that the more of these you put next to each other, the more efficient the system becomes. Because at the moment, they're only sharing three tiles, whereas all of the space around them that has to be free could be shared with others. So you could double the production in this room, but you wouldn't have to double the amount of space it takes up. Because when you extend it, say, outwards, you wouldn't need another five tiles out, you'd only need four tiles out. So this one becomes more efficient space-wise the more you have in one room. Which, okay, but you don't want a lot in one room. Because of fires and depressurization and, and smoke and all of the other reasons that, that that's bad. Bottom line is for now I'm happy with creating the double grow beds. Um, and I'm just measuring things out. Yeah, I'm happy with just making the, the these grow beds. They require three infra blocks. We've got absolutely loads of infra blocks. There we go, and that's what I'm gonna do. It just makes a lot of sense. So if you think about it, the amount of space that I've just used up, right? I could have used up not, so it would be a slightly more space that way, but slightly less space this way. So a similar amount of space. But here, I'm getting eight. With one of those, I'd get five. Yeah, I just feel like they're more efficient space-wise. There, there must be other costings, like maybe they require more power per plant. Possibly. Um... Maybe they're just less efficient with construction materials, which is, is true, looking at that. It's three, so it's one and a half infra blocks per plant, whereas here it's one rather than one and a half. So the big ones are more efficient with construction resources. And they require so little power. The harvesting looks like... It's the same ratios. 
Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, mm, yeah. I think it's it is more efficient to have the doubles rather than the those ones. Plant fruits. Thanks, Walter. So I'm going to get a load more fruits again. Um, the other two I think I'm just going to leave for now and then have them ready when we've got fibers that can be uh, grown. I mean, then again, we can just grow the things and not give a crap. But yeah, the fruits seem to be in under pressure. Under pressure. And it also require you also require that for IV fluid. So having an, an abundance of fruit is not a bad thing for making IV fluid. Okay, so there's that bit of random maths <laughs> to, to, to make your day more complete. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. More fertilizers being produced, fantastic. It's all good, it's all good. We don't have any composters. Well, we do have a composter. And in fact, it is doing composty things. What we could have done with a second one, in fairness, instead of all of those grow beds. Yeah, whatever. Ah, boy. Yeah, I remember it was a few episodes back, wasn't it? When I figured out the power capacity nodes, if you distribute them properly, uh, along with the power nodes, they just stop the power drains when the reactor's under heavy load. It, it's it's so, so much nicer now that we've got that set up. It's very nice. What's our research like? Fibers. Fibers is not, not happening. Not happening much. I think there's a lot of things being moved around, especially with the construction of all of this. What do we actually have in here? I, I'm just going to re refresh my mind. An amount. Definitely <laughs> an amount. Yes, congratulations, Malak. You have successfully determined that there is an amount of a thing in a thing. Yay! But what I do want... What I do want is maybe some other storage for certain things. Which side is the, the kind of... Okay, it's just that side. So I could put another storage next to this storage. Which could hold other things that are valid for this location. Or I could put another composter there. There's, there's all kinds of options. Another thing there, then move that round and put a composter. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Could move this door. Move the door down to, like, here. And then we could add something here. I don't think that's high priority. I think what's high priority is we have a little look at this other derelict. Because we've got the, the other derelict here that needs action. Yes, we do. It doesn't look particularly... Not particularly hostile, does it? Looks fairly... Like, ordinary, you know? But I guess we'll have to wait. <laughs> you knew it was coming. We have to wait. We've had a lot of, couple of episodes that have been really long recently, so uh, this episode's going to be kind of much closer to the uh, target time that I have. Um, so, yeah, until next time, guys, I will bid you all farewell, and, of course, cheerio.